Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Um, today I have a Bath and Body Works haul. This is actually my candle haul from back in December that I am finally filming and posting. And I'm really sorry that this is delayed. I just put these candles in my like spare office room and they sat for forever and I just didn't get around to filming them. So here I am. I bought a bunch of candles. Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18... 21, ugh, 21 candles. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, I didn't have intentions of buying that many, but then I just decided no time like the present because prices are only going to go up if I have a coupon and they're having a sale and there's ones that I want. Uh, just get them. So I went to a store that's um, like right by where five minutes from my house, five minutes from where I work. Um, I went there in the morning right when they opened and then went to work right after that. So I got there at 6 a.m. or whatever time they opened. I think I got there at 6.15 maybe. Um, and met a co-worker over there and she shopped and I shopped. And she left before me because I was wandering around trying to figure out if I was going to use uh, both of the coupons that I had or not. <coughs> Excuse me. I had two 10 off 40 coupons and then with them, along with them, some free items. I don't know how I, I ended up getting three full size items and then a small one. So I don't exactly remember how, and that wasn't necessarily just from that day. This is just in total because I did go back and do an exchange that I'll show you as well, but let's just get into it. Um, for holiday scents, I wanted a couple more of vanilla snowflake. Now I have a chopped up candle of this. I have a candle from a long time ago in Vanilla Snowflake. I think it was when it, maybe one of the first years it came out and it's in really pretty packaging. I should probably just burn it and be done with it. But I like that packaging more than I like this. But I did grab two of these. I love this scent. It's one that can be hit or miss, I think, depending on the wicks and maybe the year. But this is just such a good vanilla, coconut, like soft vanilla mint coconut scent. I love it. It's great. Yeah, grab two. Okay, I also grabbed two of the peppermint sugar cookie, which is also one, I think, I don't remember the last time I burned this. Was it in fall or last winter? I don't know when it was, but I just remember burning it and thinking, this smells so nice burning. So I'm hoping that these ones that I got with these dark centered wicks, burn as well as that one that I most recently burned which I mean it wasn't recent but I can't remember if I burned a small one in the fall or when it was I'm trying to look back at um, my candle cabinets behind me to see I'll remind myself but I'm not going to this is your peppermint vanilla and maybe a, a slight hint of sugar cookie it's just a great scent it smells so good um Neither of these are super strong or headache inducing for me. And since we're talking about mint, I grabbed a twisted peppermint. Oldie but a goodie. Um, I don't feel like I can have too many of these. This is just such a nice minty scent. Um, soothing. I love it in the body care, home fragrance, everything. And since we've been talking about coconut, I grabbed a snowy coconut frost. Now, I don't know anything about this one. It says iced coconut, white birch, warm vanilla. I think it's said really good reviews. This is like your bakery coconut. To me, bakery coconut and vanilla. Maybe I don't get like white birch necessarily, but something woodsy where it's not just like a out, doesn't give you that bakery food scent type uh, vibe, but a little something else, but it's really nice. And now, since we've been talking about cookies, I grabbed a Merry Cookie. Um, I don't, and this isn't like a staple for me the way that it is for some people, but I I don't know. Everybody seems to really like it and it had good reviews this year. So I don't know if it's just one of those scents that can vary year to year on how well it burns. But it had good reviews this year. So I decided to grab one. I don't know if I grabbed another. So we'll find out once I... I don't think I did. 
one I think is all I need. I may have a chopped up candle of this. If I do, I should probably get through that because this isn't a scent that I just love. Now, I love cookie scents. I like sugar cookie scents. Um, so I would think that that would be in my wheelhouse of favorite scents, but for some reason it just isn't. I don't know what it is. And I did grab a sweater weather. Um, always a good one. I've been mel uh, melting a uh, chopped up candle of this this winter. I'm kind of sick of it now, but I'm glad I'm getting through it. This is sage, juniper berry, eucalyptus, woods. This is a eucalyptus heavy, fresh winter air scent. Um, it's classic. It's great. It's, yeah. And I know I have m more of that in candle form, I'm sure. Yes, I have enough. I think one of the originals again. Who knows? I don't, yeah, whatever. Anyway. Um, and then I grabbed an Ice Winter Balsam. I don't know if I have this or if this is new. Frozen Eucalyptus Sugared Pine Fresh Balsam. I just decided that I wanted a couple tree scents. Now, after I did this, I realized I don't burn tree scents that much. What am I doing? Why am I buying a bunch of tree scents? But I think what I want to do is just go through like one or two over the winter season and then be done. Um, so, I don't know. I just grabbed it. I feel like this is either new or hasn't been around for a really long time. Eucalyptus pine balsam. But not too different than your other fresh balsam <clears throat> um, uh, Christmas tree scents. Okay, and then I grabbed a marshmallow fireside because this is always a great scent to have. Um, toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, roasted vanilla. Hopefully you know what this scent smells like. It doesn't really smell like any of that. It just smells amazing. Grabbed one of these for myself and I, I, you'll see it in a second here. Um, I did grab another one and I actually asked my sister if she wanted, but <clears throat> she said she doesn't need any more candles. Um, then I grabbed one of those blends, Aloha, Kiwi, Passion Fruit, and Tiki Beach. Uh, this was one of the ones that smelled the best to me. The other ones, a couple were intriguing, but I love Tiki Beach. I wanted to try Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit, but it's been too tart for me to want to take a chance on. So I felt like this was a a good dip into that fruity scent, but still giving me my beloved Tiki Beach scent that I enjoy. And that is um, Passion Fruit, Kiwi, Coconut, and Vanilla Musk is what it says. Um, and then, do you like all the patterned, like, reflective lights on the wall? That's from the different patterned lids. It's kind of cool. Then I got a fresh cut lilacs. Again, I like this scent, but my sister also likes it, so I thought if she wanted it, I can always gift it to her or something like that. But I do really like this scent. It, it To me, it can be a little overwhelming where I can only burn it for a short period of time and then it's headache inducing for me and I have to put it out and I don't love a candle that I have to do that where it, I have to worry about that. I just want something I can light and then enjoy it for the duration of the time I want it burning until I go to sleep at night or whatever it happens to be. Um, but I can't deny that this is a great scent and it has a good throw and so I don't want to complain about a scent that's strong from Bath & Body Works because I, <clears throat> I'm all about it. Okay, so that is what I initially got. And then I went to a different mall after I got off work to see what they had there. And I bought a few more scents. So I grabbed um, a Marshmallow Fireside. And these I did not have coupons for. So I just paid the $9.95. I just, to me, I, I, I don't know. I just wanted them. <laughs> I just figured, again, they're not going to get any cheaper. I might as well get them while I can. And I grabbed a Frozen Lake. And I'm not so sure I want this. No, maybe I do. Yeah, what, I, what is the one that I am thinking of? I keep getting this confused with. Okay, I was just searching my candle cabinets again. I think it's like frozen icicles. Is that a scent? I don't see it in my candle cabinet, but I don't think I burned through it, unless I did. Ugh, it's not where I would think it would be, though, but... Maybe I just don't have it in the right spot. Um, that one was like a fruity scent to me, and I didn't love it. This frozen lake I have in a soap in my guest bathroom, and I'm really enjoying it, which is the reason why I grabbed this candle. Lavender, eucalyptus, and berries. 
I hope this smells like the soap, which to my nose it does, but for some reason, I don't know why I was thinking, I keep thinking that is, I must be thinking of like a frozen icicle scent or something, something that was a little bit more fruity. And then I grabbed some unique ones that, <clears throat> I wish I had actually had gotten more of these, um, leather and brandy. What a nice, sleek packaging. I love that matte black. I hate that little drip there, but that's okay. I, I am the last person to want a leather scent. It says warm leather, amber woods, aged brandy. It doesn't smell like leather or brandy to me. It is just a really nice, luxurious hotel bar scent or I don't know something really nice that's all I can say about that one that one's really 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 good <clears throat> and then cypress and amber oh geez I can hear a little pitter patter of a kitty cat here comes Eby with his little clippity clap toes here he comes great okay I just had to give him a little pep talk the you don't come near me right now talk uh, <laughs> he didn't listen Okay, so we're just going to try and keep going. Cypress and Amber. <clears throat> and this is Dark Cypress, Smoked Amber, and Fresh Bergamot. Come on. What are you doing? This is another just really good one. I think I like this one better. It, they're both very light. I don't know what this smells like, but... Marshmallow Fireside with a Bergamot? No. I don't, I don't know what it is. It just smells really good. I wish I had two of those and two of those. <clears throat> and then I also grabbed a sweet whiskey, which was, it was the only one left. I'm really glad I got this because this smells really good. Um, golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, sweet red berries. Doesn't smell like whiskey to me, although I'm not a whiskey fan. But there's definitely a fruitiness. It does kind of remind you of an alcohol, but it's like, I don't know, it's just this mature conceptual scent with the sweetness of the, like, berries. Um, yeah, I really like that one. And then I grabbed Afternoon Rainfall, which I went back and forth about because there's something I like about it and then something I don't like about it. And this is Raindrops Tapping at Your Window, Aloe and Musk. Uh, there's something like green, kind of like wet green grass that I don't love. But then it's unique and watery and dewy. So I figured I wanted to try it, but it did remind me of a scent that they used to have a long time ago. What are you doing? Huh? You just got to be right there, just awkwardly. Okay. So that's it that I originally bought. Now, that's not what I, I ended up buying a tree farm. And then I didn't realize that I bought a tree farm or that I had a bunch of tree farm or enough. So I ended up bringing one back. I exchanged it for a vanilla birch. Um, it's not like I exchanged it for a brand new, like new season candle or anything like that. I just brought it back probably like the next day or whatever when I realized why did I buy a tree farm. Um, I went to a location that actually had vanilla birch and so I just grabbed that. I love vanilla birch. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, white birch, Madagascar vanilla, and sandalwood. Um, just a really nice scent. I have to like shoo him. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Shoo him away. It's like, Evie, give me 10 minutes, okay? 15 max. Come on, man. Okay. And then I did have two kettle corn candles from a long time ago that I bought. Well, I burned one and it, it smelled horrible. I couldn't stomach it. I like it wasn't lit for very long at all. I felt really terrible returning them. At least one was brand new. Um, the girls there thought they were like the most intriguing thing ever. So uh, the girls that worked at the store, <clears throat> so they were they thought it was really cool that they were like, oh my gosh, a, a candle called kettle corn. Like they hadn't seen it because obviously they hadn't worked there long enough to know it came out last year or whenever it came out. But so I did exchange that, and again, this was at the time where I got vanilla birch. So I just grabbed another one of them because it's. It's just easy. I know I like it. I didn't have to look for very long. And then they had like a random coconut sandalwood candle that I decided to get too. And this is coconut, sandalwood, musk, jasmine. I don't know how much I'm going to like this. 
I'm intrigued by it. I think the coconut could be headache inducing for me. Uh, the sandalwood is prominent though. I can smell that sandalwood right away. So I'm hoping I'll like it and good one for summertime. So that's it for candles. And then freebies I grabbed are um, lavender, vanilla. I grabbed the body cream. And then to go with it, because I do like to put things together, I grabbed the shower gel. Um, and then a different time I grabbed a Twisted Peppermint body cream. Body creams don't last as long as the lotions, but for some reason the body creams, well, I shouldn't say that. I was going to say the body creams on me when I put them on versus the lotion, they are like more cooling and minty. And I love that feeling, especially when I like shower at night after working out. I like that like icy feeling on my skin, but the lotions do that too. I think it's just like a mind thing that the body creams do that more. And then for a small travel size, I just grabbed a lavender vanilla um, travel size. And I might ask my mom if she wants this because she likes lavender. So if she wants that, I'll give it to her. <sighs> Which she probably won't because she just says she doesn't want any more body care. And that's it. That's my candle haul. Those are my freebies. That's everything I got. I'm finally able to put this stuff away into my candle cabinets. And I am curious if you didn't post, if you don't post videos, what you guys got. Um, I'd love to know, and then um, you can comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on any of these candles, if you've burned them, if they're good or they're bad, The one, especially the ones I obviously haven't tried. Um, good to talk to you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.